Hi Sabre fans, Darth Alice here again and just wanted to show you a Sabre that it's been around the block a little bit. It came back to me from an install I did a couple years ago as one of the switches got jammed up and while I was at it I got in there and of course did things a little bit differently than I used to do and added a few upgrades to it. This is originally a Force Relics Gungie which is a full solid wooden base which it's very nice. I like the wood on this and the finish. And then these pieces are all 3D printed. The shroud, this lower section here, these greeblies, that's all 3D printed stuff that I've painted and aged to try to look like metal. The emitter, that's a aluminum piece that goes in about that deep. And from there what I've done is make a um, Delrin chassis system that extends about that deep that ties directly into the blade holder along with an attachment point here to keep this thing full strength and you don't get any wobble out of the blade and it's a solid piece. What I've done as well is use one of my uh, Darth Allis chassis, shape, uh, Shapeway chassis, it's 3D printed, and I drilled some holes and mounted that into the back of that chassis into the Delrin system so the whole thing is one piece tied together now. I also, while I was at it, covered up this hole because this was an original switch hole. I didn't like that replacement so I filled that with casting acrylic. Um, used a piece of Coca-Cola rosewood to fill this hole in, right? And then I milled this section out made a little uh, metal control box for this out of aluminum and added two micro tack switches here which it just seems to work a lot better and made more sense with the way the saber was done. I also drilled this out, tapped this and added an insert for an 832 because this was off just a little bit in the way that it was set up and I like things being very square when I get done with them. I rewired the saber of course um, and the main LED is an older Cree red, green, blue with just the blue and the green operating on a Spark 2 from Nigan Electronics. 18650 battery from Solos Hold along with a 28 millimeter uh, speaker, heavy base um, Railmaster. And what's nice too, by shortening the internal uh, dimensions of the whole chassis, I've created a lot more area for, um, for sound mixing and for resonance. So here we go, let's hear this thing fire up. You can see the accent light doing its thing. And I just wanted to que create a weird aquamarine blue for it because I thought this is more of an organic saber. And it's got Nigon stock font package. And for demo, I just thought, why not put a uh, photon blade in here? Oh, we've got to get the blade holder out first. I mean, the. There we go, the blade plug. There we go. So there we go folks. I just wanted to do a quick little demo of the Saber as the more I look at it the more I appreciate the lines of the Saber itself and once again a big thank you to Jehavo for creating such a cool Saber. I do like the Gungies. Thank you again and may the force be with you always.